breaking news welcome to today's headlines and canoes prosecution to check insecurity in southeast oriwata osbuari and canoes prosecution to check insecurity in southeast oriwata osbuari to my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from please stay tuned as I read to this news. A civil rights advocacy group, Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Huriwa, has renewed its call on President Muhammad Buhari to order an end to the serial persecution of the detained, dehumanized leader of the now prescribed indigenous people of the Afra hype up Mazi Unamdekanu to hand insecurity in the southeast. Kano is facing sundry charges that he is leading in agitation for self determination and calling for a referendum on self government for the indigenous people of the Afra also known as the Southeast of Nigeria. Uriwa made the call in a statement on Sunday, endorsed by its national coordinator, Comrade Emmanuel Kanu, saying, if the president orders for an end to the unjust persecution, of Mazi Unamdekanu, he, the president, would achieve a lasting hand to the violence and needless killings of innocent Nigerians in the southeast by persons pursuing different ideological interests, including the majority angered by the unjust incarceration of Mazi Unamdekanu. Huriwa, according to the statement, maintains that the otherwise very peaceful agitation for the convocation of a national referendum by hype up to determine which regions is in Nigeria would opt for self-determination in compliance with the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights which states in Article 1, the essence of self-determination does not amount to separatist tendencies. The rights advocacy group faulted the charges framed against Mazi Unamdekanu, including the allegation of terrorism, because Uriwa believes that the leader of the proscribed IPOP Contrary to the, wide sep- to the widespread innuendos and factually inaccurate charges that he is a rebel, is a citizen who has abiding faith in the integrity and functionality of the Nigerian judicial system, and he is at variance with the accusations that he is a rebel who has no regard for the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria of 1999 as amended. Hariwa said Kanu has so far instituted up to half a dozen of in- litigations, seeking various redress of the grief abuses of his constitutionally granted civil political and human rights as a citizen of both Nigeria and Great Britain. Within the legal framework of Section 6 of the 1999 Constitution as amended, Oriwa recalled that the detained leader of the indigenous people of the Afra, Hyperb Unamdekanu, has recently lodged fresh suit before the Federal High Court 
sitting in Abuja, insisting that preventing them from wearing his native Igbo attire, Isi Ago, for his ongoing trial would amount to an infringement on his fundamental human right. This is certainly not the character of a rebel who seeks the, who seeks the disintegration of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and so him perpetually in the dungeons of the Department of State Services amounts to egregious and grave violations of his fundamental human right. Just as the rights group as on small conversed unconditional freedom for Unamdekano and thousands of other unjustly detained Igbo youth considered to be loyal IPOB, Uriwa said, adding that the continuous uprising in the southeast was being stalked by the continuous illegal detention of Mazi Unamdekano and thousands of his loyalists in different detention facilities. Horiwa faltered the hypocritical claims by President Muhammad Buhari of the so-called non-interference in the affairs of the judiciary, just as the group said, legally speaking, the federal attorney general contaminated an unjust persecution of the citizen such as the category of the active serial persecution of citizen Unamdekano and thousands of detained innocent Igbo. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.